You're right, Charlie. I wanna be, I wanna be. I know I'm gonna be, I know I'm gonna be. Yeah. I wanna be, I wanna be. I know I'm gonna be, I know I'm gonna be. Yeah. I wanna be, I wanna be. I know I'm gonna be, I know I'm gonna be. Yeah. I wanna be, I wanna be. Ta da! My Mexican speciality. Oh my god, it looks lovely. Doesn't it just? The only thing is, I'm not being rude, but the avocado is black. But darling, it's just, it's oven baked. You made me shy when you're calling me darling. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> no one ever calls me darling, it's really making my nerves bad. What about we have a drink then? Let's have a, Let's drink. Have a drink. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous. Don't be nervous, it's I don't all know good. I'm nervous, I just get nervous sometimes. I get a bit shy. Don't be shy. How are you anyway? Yeah, I'm alright. I've just never seen a black avocado before. <laughs> <laughs> Where you at now? Shut up. Oh go. my god. I love champagne, do you? I love it. Nothing like a bit of bubbles, is there really? Let's toast to our first date. Our first date. Nice one. When push comes to show. Oh. We're just getting to know yeah, one another and but I'm not fresh. Deep down I think I'm really no, sensitive. No, I see person. another side to you. We're on this little journey together at the moment and we're having a good time and we are just gonna see where it goes and you know. Okay. You said to me that you couldn't come into my mum's house because you was planning a date for me. Yeah. Well, you've got me around your house yet again and you said that there was gonna be a surprise, so the surprise is, I want you to get naked for me. Shut up. What the fuck are you going on about? What the fuck are you talking about? No way. I'm not comfortable with that. Let me explain. It's the 100 year anniversary of Titanic sinking. One of my most favourite scenes in that film is where Jack Jaws rose. I've always wanted to recreate it. I've been waiting for that special person to do it with. Did Kate Winslet get naked in the film? Yes, yeah, she did. Charlie, that is sick. I'm not doing that. That is just, I'm sorry, the most weirdest thing I've ever heard in my life. Why do you want me to get naked? Well, look. And draw a picture of me. You'd normally say, here. get naked and let's go to bed, babe. To cover your modesty. And I'd like to do it as a gift to you, something that is totally unique from me to you. No, it's Charlie, no, piss off. Really? I've got my sketchbook upstairs, my pencils ready. I can go and get them. Let's just go for it. This is a nice thing to do, no? <laughs> I don't if I go know. and get my stuff. Yeah. Get inside or something. <laughs> I'm bored to shit, Charlie. What's oh, going Jen, on? No, I'm nearly done. Very nearly done. I've got a numb bum. Wait, can I just? Are you excited to see what I've done? A little bit. I'm a bit scared. Yeah, I am really happy. Okay. So, are you ready to have a look? My tits look saggy. No, they're not sagging. They're actually quite pert. They're like them tribal tits. And if that is your interpretation of me, I think there's a few more lessons to be had. It's just my constructive criticism. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Just and don't I think from that picture, you're insinuating that I need a boob job. No, not at all. You've got a lovely pair. 
Oh, this has been a mad evening. Hasn't it? But do you know what? I think it's really broken the ice with us. Exactly, the ice. Absolutely, going back to Titanic, I love that. So what happens now then? Do you want me to stay tonight? Do I go home? Stay tonight. So why not? Look, the outfit, are we looking ring? Yeah, I yeah. like it, but I think you should do the buttons up on the jacket. Shirt in or sort of tucked out? In, blazer done up, yeah. like looking sharp. Sharp, sharp and fresh. Yeah. Right, cool. No, like how Ricky looks all the time. Even when Ricky's casual, mm -hmm. he looks sharp. Right. I'm learning, I'm liking it, I feel I look good in it. What would you have normally have worn to a ring party then? Talk me through it. Well, I would never have gone to a ring party. I don't even know what a ring party is, if I'm honest, babe. It's about going there, being rain, looking rain, smelling rain. Do you know what I mean? That's what it's all about. Right. I've what never seen I mean? you in white before. It's because I'm like oversized 10. It don't mean you can't wear white. I love you in white. Do you? Yeah, it's I do. Genial. It's I'm nice. like a virgin at the minute, though. Is that what you feel like? Yeah. Six weeks into our relationship, we've not... Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So but do you think we're going to do it tonight? I don't know. I was talking to the boys about it and actually their opinion on it is like mine. You don't have to have sex at any given time of a relationship. If you don't do it straight away, there's more chance of the relationship being like of longevity. Who said that? Ricky. Yeah. Sex makes you a couple. At yeah. the minute, we're seeing each other. We're like a bit friends. You know, I stayed at your house the other night. We spooned. Yeah. You did get a boner, so I definitely know you're not gay. <laughs> but the boner was poking me in the back. You know, you got to start poking it in the front, Charlie. You know, I've not seen it yet. You could have, like, something wrong with it. I don't know. Mm. In Essex, you know what it's like. Everyone puts it about. Yeah, but I and... ain't your average Essex boy, and I'm going to stick to my roots with that. Let's just have some fun. Like, why, why are we getting to know one another? Do you not think? Okay. You've got to be a little bit patient with me because actually... I'll be patient with you, Charlie, but I'll be honest with you. You know, it's just random behaviour. It's bizarre to me. You know, a man wants to touch you, wants to feel you, wants to slap your ass. Mm. You tell me you like my eyes, but you've not said I like your tits, I like your ass. I want to touch your nun. Right. Oh, it's all last minute. I've got to match all this up with the jewellery. What do you think, Marb, Summer, Ocean Club? I'm loving it. I, I'm quite shocked at how much you've got here. i just got to say something to you, though. Yeah. I feel really bad that I took the piss out of your dancing the other day. I'm a fucking embarrassment, right? Yeah, I did say that. That's what I heard. What's it all about, Jim? I don't get it. Well, I was just embarrassed. I've never seen you dance like that. I was in shock. But when we went dancing, we sort of danced like this, and then you started dancing like this. And I just got a bit jealous, I think. All I did was get up and dance to a song that I liked. There's no issue with it. All oh, right, so yeah. I'm just saying, I'm in the wrong. I'm apologising right, to you. Look, forget and about it. I don't it. ever want to upset you, because I look at your face and I just love you to bits. Apology accepted, but this ain't the time or place to be talking about this, all no, right? So come I know. On. Can I just say one more thing? Yeah. And you can say no if you want. Yeah. Can I take you out on a date? Definitely. You tell me where, I'll be there. So in love again, yeah? Let's do it. Come on. Shut up, you're meant to say yes. Love is a new level, my darling. <sighs> I don't know how it's going, but if I'm honest, I don't think it's going in the right direction. Everything you've wanted me to do in this relationship, Charlie, I have done. So for you to turn around and say to me, you're not happy with the way relationship's going, fuck off. You're unbelievable. Why am I unbelievable? Fuck off, because it's not nice. That, this is what I don't like about you. You know, from. Well, don't I, sit in my ass saying to me, when I've done nothing to you, I'm not on, happy Jim. with you've the done, way the you've relationship's done nothing to going. Me. You're putting it out there to all the other people, the girls, the boys. I'm in embarrassment with my dancing. I'm, I'm, I'm humiliating. I'm having to stick up for you and your sexuality. You're telling the girls that you I haven't put it on you, right? But you but, ain't. No, I'm scared. I don't know what to dress like because I'm worried that it might not look right. I'm scared of the shoes I'm wearing because the first pair of shoes you saw me in made you want to vomit. You asked me for my help, Jim. I want to get some new clothes. Because I wasn't Essex enough. Because I wasn't swag enough. Because I wasn't a gangster. I didn't have tassels on my shoes. Because my hair wasn't combed over. And do you know what? It, that ain't me. OK. I haven't had sex with you because I've wanted to treat you like a lady. I've wanted just to get to know you and think, you know what? That could come. Let's not put pressure on it. If I'm honest, I don't think there's sexual chemistry in this relationship. I really don't. We call it a day now. We can be friends, have a, have a laugh together and just leave the idea of a relationship and put it to bed. Brilliant. Yeah.
Thank you. Right. And let me tell you one thing. Yeah. We won't be friends because I, I think you have actually tried to make a mug of me. Not so at go. all. Not we at ain't going to be friends. Fine. Your loss.